Now that the weather's improving, it's time to clean up. But at Hawaii's largest small boat harbor, it's not that simple. Eddie Dowd explains why. It's been more than 48 hours since Saturday's rainstorm, but as you can see, there's still trash and debris littering the Waikiki Yacht Club. Now, as the cleanup process continues, there are some in the community wondering if there were any lessons learned for future storms. This came from the Makiki, Pololo and Manoa streams. Sof Hansen is one of the volunteers trying to clear debris that's blocking boats, but the tide keeps pushing it back in. It seems to get worse on high tide. And now some of the larger pieces are floating off the coast. We just took the boat out, noticed a bunch of this went uh, offshore. The harbor falls under the jurisdiction of the Department of Land and Natural Resources. But the state's boating division said in a news release that the debris is not their issue and that for 25 years, it's been trying to get other agencies to collect all this trash before it reaches the harbor. Boaters don't care who's in charge, they just wish someone would get it done. It's kind of a, a gray area where this exists because it's right at the mouth of the Alawai. So the river is one department and then the harbor is another and they back and forth about whose job it is to clean it up. So I've been doing a lot of cleanup just myself. It would be nice if there was a catchment at the beginning of the Alawai over by the library by Kapa Hulu there to catch the garbage because none of this would have occurred. It's homeless camps like this that can fall into waterways and head to the ocean. We met a man named Danny who says he's lived next to the Kalihi stream for 15 years. His encampment has what looks like a rope keeping it from falling into the water. When the river rises, what do you do? Oh, we get away. We get away from that. That should provide us uh, some kind of like evacuation area. Honolulu's mayor says city crews have been actively sweeping people from sites along streams and bridges. There are circumstances now that are, that are at play that cause us great concern, not the least of which is the debris from our homeless population. So uh, all the more we're motivated to get that cleaned up. He pointed to a recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling that allows cities to ban people from sleeping and camping in public places. From the standpoint of the rulings, if you will, we have a lot of latitude in city and county to protect our people and to protect this place. And so we're exercising that now. Back at the Alawai, the state says a contractor plans to bring in heavy machinery Tuesday to remove debris. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Eddie, thank you. The Pacific